Welcome back, y'all, to another episode of Hip Hop Babies. Baby! Yes, Bowski! Here to talk about some petty beef, some petty drama, man. This is juicy. Queen and, and the Stallion, they they going at it. Uh, we had to bring AC to come talk about it because uh, AC is the only bar I actually know, so I wanted to bring him down. He's hey, our most bro, honored bro, guest. Thank you for coming out and spending this time, man, to defend your queen. Hey, uh, she appreciates your service. Mickey, I've been a fan, you know what I'm saying? Always a fan. People over here talking down on your name, so I just had to come over here and make sure it's respected. You know, I appreciate the hip-hop babies for having me. You know, it's always love. Yeah, you know, we love to have multiple perspectives in this channel, you know, taking all the different sides because we are biased. As great as we may be, I mean, I'm biased. You know, Ray is also maybe similarly biased. <laughs> So we're going to have to get into this for sure. What are we going to break it into? Like, When did this get messy, man? They they went from Hot Girl Summer, Meg coming up, right? Meg doing a bunch of songs. 2019, best friends. Yeah, hanging like, out, doing lives together. You know what I'm saying? What happened, bro? And stuff changed. They started beefing. Some people think it was WAP, right? Some people think it was, you know, her doing the song with Cardi. But I believe Megan has stated that that wasn't an issue. But obviously... We know what we know yeah, how it followed is. her on Instagram right after. Like, what, what's yeah. going on with her? Like, I don't believe that's a coincidence. She dropped some horse bars, right? What we just yeah. like, what are we doing here, bro? We throwing petty shots all the way until when uh, we got his the hit single from Megan the Stallion, respectively. I think number one on the charts right now, yeah, bro. The music video go with it, like visuals, all that. It was crazy. One of the main things was she called out just rappers in general. I mean, she was calling out everybody, uh, it seemed like, on this one. But somebody in particular took a personal vendetta against what she said, so. Yeah, because Cobra, I think I was the one she dropped for his. And Cobra was okay. She kind of talked about people assume party, her ex, and other people who were in her business around the time, basically saying she was trying to heal from everything, you know? She did drop an album called Traumazine. She wasn't talking about the situation with Tori, but there were certain songs where she hinted at it or she touched on, you know, her, her mom and everything. She has a whole bunch of stuff going on. And I think she just finally exploded with his. He finally was like, well, all these people are in my business talking about me. Let me send some shots back. And it hit. I mean, who was talking numbers. about Megan Thee Stallion, though? Who was talking about her for her to... Some people think, what, Drake on her loss was talking about it. The line where he says, this girl lied about getting shot, but she's Stallion. But he kind of mm. was like, well, it's about something else. But you know how rappers be. They throw subliminals in and they're like, if yeah. it hits, it hits. But I'm not talking about that. And other people have said their opinions on the whole Tory situation. That was everywhere, especially when the court yeah. case was going on. So people were tweeting about it. We were very vocal about it, right? Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> I was just going to chime in on that. What did we say? I mean, we was like... I remember exactly what I said. I was like, I think it's Cap. I don't think he surely got shot in the foot. <laughs> I mean, I'm just, I'm just gonna keep it at that. <laughs> that yeah, where's the score? I'm telling you, I'm just keeping it that well, bro. That's exactly what I said. I was like, bro, I don't even know. I feel like it's just like this doesn't make sense. Why would Tory Lane shoot her in the foot? I mean, yeah, we had no facts at the time. I mean, like whatever you thought was what you thought. I was very much so on the side where I was like, well, man, if he shot her, I mean, get him persecuted or whatever. Like, nah, I really right. don't care what happens to him at that point. So, and, and the cars fell how they fell. I just find it weird that. He's being brought up again. We moved on from that. It's gone through the court of law. Like, if she's lying, another black man is in jail off of a lie. I mean, that's a terrible thing. But, like, literally, like, what are we going to do? Kind of weird we're bringing it up. Yeah. And, and she also brought up that Megan was sleeping with, with Tori and stroking on his toupee in the song, the Bigfoot song. Yeah, I don't know if y'all yeah, heard that yeah, bar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, yeah, Nikki, she's dropped diss tracks technically to, like, Little Kim and stuff before. She said it wasn't a diss track on Twitter, but she's been saying a whole bunch of things on Twitter that are believable or not, depending on how you look at it, right? She dropped Bigfoot after hyping it up on her live, playing specifically the Bigfoot bar over and over. Basically, like, this is what I'm talking about. And the internet is going to blaze because it's like, wow, you know, Nicki Minaj, I don't, you know, like to focus on this all the time, but she's the best woman rapper ever. You know, numbers-wise, how long she's done it, um, her projects, she has solid to classic projects. And even coming back with Pink Friday too, she shows she could retire and come back and still have hits, still work with some other artists and make some solid songs, even though Pink Friday 2 wasn't my favorite. I don't know, man. This this beef is crazy. I think it's crazy that Nicki Minaj really put out a track like this. Yeah, it just showed like a the generation of like the whole situation. I don't know. It was just wild. I was just like, really? She didn't even really call you out. And specifically, you made it known that she was talking about you, where I just feel like a lot of people were just playing delusional and were acting like this situation isn't really a thing. But she's married to somebody who is a sex offender and she's 
also had her brother who has been caught messing with a minor and she's been speaking on behalf of both of those parties. It doesn't look good, bro. On the song, she talks about Megan being laid up with a minor and nobody knows what she's talking about, bro. Do you guys know anything about these claims, bro? Because it's just like, it brought more attention back to her parties that are having sexual cases and shit. Like, that's stupid, bro. I just thought she just self-assassinated her career right there. She was just like, I don't really care anymore. And I'm just going to talk hella shit. And I'm going to say, you lying on your dead mom. Seems like career suicide to me. I definitely wouldn't say career suicide. Do I think some of the stuff that she was saying was a little far and a stretch? Sure. We don't know what's going on in the industry, right? I mean, people come out and say random, like, random things that we don't know every single day. Like, look at the Cat Williams interview. Like, Cat Williams talked about, like, so many different things that came out. And we're like, bro, I didn't know this was actually a thing. But we're not going to sit here and claim it to be false. We just don't know, right? Yeah, I mean, so what Nikki is saying in her song, it could be true, but it's just something that maybe her and Meg had talked about. Now, is that kind of foul for Nikki to come out and say this stuff? Like, after having conversations with Meg, if that's how she found out this information, or maybe someone close to her, yeah, that's foul. Um, but, I mean, you got to know within a beef, anything's bound to come out. So, only thing I'm really surprised about is the fact that it's just like, where did this come from? Like, I just have no idea where they would just like start to be, I guess, like you were saying, like the his song and like Nikki maybe take it personal. I mean, listening mm. to that track, I didn't hear anything, you know, saying, oh, Nikki this, Nikki that. But if you listen to Bigfoot, Nikki is talking directly to Megan Thee Stallion. Is there anything else that like Megan had hidden that was talking about Nikki? I think the, besides the Megan's Law, maybe some of the lines about how some of these other rappers are, are basically throwing shade, but not really about to do anything. Basically saying yeah. that maybe Nikki or some of the other rappers she's beefing with are just all talk. Like we're saying, they've obviously been throwing little subliminals. Nikki's saying she doesn't like horses. What is Megan Thee Stallion? But Nikki has a history with beefing with people. Before I think it was her beefing with Little Kim, because Little Kim was saying certain things and basically saying she stole my style and stuff. And I mean, she beefed with Cardi B too. Cardi yeah. B, yeah. They ended up fighting, bro. Yeah, and that got really messy. But with that, there wasn't full on tracks you know this is the first time in a while where i've seen especially an artist on nikki's level just fully engaged with someone ac said it before like megan's not on nikki's level at all career wise no. music wise i kind of agree with you saying like it's career suicide because like why are you doing all this where i don't really think this is going to hurt her unless she keeps going or megan drops something that's like you're done you're cooked. I just feel like there's more and more people that are realizing the type of behavior that is being presented on social media, where she's, you know, calling Megan a pathological, manipulative liar. She's bringing up her troubles with her record label. She's naming all of her past exes um, in the industry uh, in attempts to slut shame her. Uh, she's calling her a scary ass, pussy broke ass hoe. You're not like rapping. The bars were weak. And there was very few of them. And most of it was talking. We was laughing for like the second half of it when we listened to it. Because what was she doing, bro? She was just chatting, bro. She was not rapping. Like, but Megan, the entire song, she was rapping and it was meant to be an actual song. And I respect that, that the artistry did not get compromised for this petty drama. Because that's the telltale sign that you lost is when you just start talking and you just start saying all this shit because they got to you. Drake and Kendrick, those guys threw subliminals all day long. Never really got at each other except for Kendrick on control. And then what could Drake do? He never got back at him because he wasn't going to get petty like that. Nicki Minaj, she ain't afraid, so. I mean, you think she already lost just off this alone? Oh, think, off this alone, I think she I think she lost. I think she took a hell, bro, because she you just. You don't think there's no coming back? It's not, it's not a surgical summer situation, bro. It's not like, you know, people listen to it and then there was like a very strong backing it seems to be a very small select few not even the full bar fandom is on board with this i feel like it's, it's even less than it would normally is man that coupled with the fan reactions like we've been talking about before this where people are getting like doxxed and harassed for saying anything bad about the nikki song i don't know man it's just like a creator doing some destructive stuff like that with the things that they're saying and then their fan base doing the same thing mimicking them and them not like checking that is a dangerous thing to have on the internet i don't think any of this is warranted for the the bar in which uh, megan said so I think she yeah, took a, yeah. a massive L. She took a big leap. It did flop in the sense where I did not like 
big foot at all. I think that Nicki Minaj is a really good lyricist. So I was expecting bars, especially because if you're going to go at someone so hard and everyone knows you're the best rapper, well, drop a whole song. I saw it was what, two minutes or whatever. I'm like, oh, this is about to be like a whole track of her going off. And half of the track is her talking, basically threatening to drop more tracks. And she was kind of saying like, well, Megan has to apologize and I have extra stuff that I'm holding back. If Mega doesn't reply, are you really still going to drop those tracks? Because that's what I want to ask y'all. Do y'all think Megan's going to reply? Well, did you see the, the Instagram reply where she What'd put she, the, she just put pictures um, from, uh, it's like a still of the red flowers from Tokyo Ghoul. Do you know you know about the red flowers? I mean, I remember to, Tokyo Ghoul. Yes, but they're supposed to be symbolic of the death of innocence and the victim myself. And then she's gonna be reborn as whatever, right? So that was the only thing that she said. So, but do you think Megan's gonna reply in a track? Do you think Megan's nah, gonna bar for bar with Nikki? Maybe try or respond, or do you think she's gonna just let Nikki continue to rant and maybe possibly drop other tracks? I think it would be best for Megan's career if she did and to try to out rap her. To be honest with you, if she tries to do that, I think Nikki may go deeper in her bag and maybe we'll pull something out. This isn't Nikki's best work, but I don't feel like this is anything that's going to be like, oh my gosh, like Nikki fell off, blah, blah, blah. Like Nikki already solidified her rap career. This doesn't ruin her at all. I, I, I don't see how it does. I think maybe if you call it an L, I wouldn't necessarily say it was a big L. I wouldn't say she gained anything from it. She was definitely lazy, especially like the second half of the track. She was talking, like she was chatting. It's like, okay, what are you just chatting for? But maybe it's like a sense of like, I got this rap game in the chokehold from a woman's perspective. Like nobody's messing with me. I see it like that. Like, I don't know. I could be wrong, but, it, but I don't think Megan is going to reply, but I think she should. Did you see that? They have now doxed the location of Megan's mom's gravesite. Yeah. People know no bounds. No bounds nowadays. So yeah, but that's not she's, Nikki. That's her that's her group. And then Nikki's over here telling people to go listen to Party's uh album and shit about, you know, their breakup and stuff. She's fueling the fire so much that I'm just like, if Megan makes a response, bro, she's gonna have so much to work with and i don't even know how if she has to because a lot of this stuff speaks for herself and just the destructive type of behavior that we're seeing a lot of people are already responding very negatively to what is going on honestly the ac you are one of the first people i've talked to who is so positive about this and i love that about you bro like we grew up hearing crazy diss tracks you know people go at whatever they want to go at and i think that yeah Nicki minaj has made herself a pop star but she's also a rapper and i think this is mm. how she feels comfortable going at someone it's a little bit jarring to see because you know to go at someone's dead mom and to basically go mm. at a traumatic incident and basically make it your whole premise as far as like this is why i'm going at you you know you're bringing up something that hurts me so i'm gonna go at you but i'm gonna go at you at a point where if she does go at nikki it can't be on those surface level stuff it has to be deep because what Nikki has done is disrespected her personally at a level where you either have to defend yourself like she attacked you or you you don't do it at all. Like Deadly's saying, I don't know if she wants to stoop to that level. Uh, maybe just do bars, maybe do a few subliminals on other people's tracks or on your own tracks. It reminds me of when Pusha T rele released the story of Adidon and then Drake was pretty much like, I'm backing out of this. Like, this is too much for me because basically to respond to Pusha T, he had to go come at Pusha T's like history or something. Like, she, he His had life. to find some dirt on Pusha <laughs> And I think at this point it's gotten so messy where, where can you go? You know, Nikki's acting like she got more. What does she have? Does she have like evidence that she's lying? I think that would be crazy. I think it's crazy to like go out here and just fucking wager online army against people bro because you know that they'll commit crimes for you these people are you're willingly tripping. And you're knowing. tripping i don't i don't, like, I, don't come think, on, bro. I think you're blank like no no okay i'm not saying i'm not saying yeah, that yeah, nikki yeah. is is saying uh, okay they, they're gonna commit crimes but i'm saying that the barbs are knowingly doxing people in doxing locations for people to like you know just do whatever i mean like what are you actually implying that you're going to do when you go to these locations i'm complaining a lot with the fans and Nicki Minaj. Sorry, no, I'm not trying to do that. So she is riling them up, you know. I think she's posted stuff before, like don't go and attack or do anything, because that's not. I don't think it's she. She has to get that. to that point. She has said that don't go and in attack the past. And, I... and if a fan is really out, you know, out of control to the point where they're willing to do that because someone they don't know is beefing with someone, we've seen this with other rappers where people 
say like Sly for Vaughn, they feel like they're so involved where they're beefing with a rapper that they don't know or they don't listen to someone's music just because a rapper is beefing with them. So we know this mm. happens even with, you know, maybe not to this level though, but this this is a problem in, with, with stands in general, whether they're Swifties, whatever, they, they go overkill with it to defend an artist that maybe doesn't want all that done. They want your support, but they don't want anyone harmed probably. And then if they did, they might go do it themselves. Wait, I don't think it's going to get to that point with this situation though, but... On step in Toronto. I think it's interesting that one Drake also hinted that Megan was lying before. And obviously Drake and Nicki Minaj, they're cool. So maybe this is a build up to something more as far as like this camp or this side has an issue with what they believe is a lie. They believe maybe Megan lied and she lies on people and she needs to be canceled or crushed because of that because i don't think it's a coincidence that people say that megan also dissed drake on that song a little bit basically saying that these rappers hate on bbls but they got the same scars basically insinuating that drake got lipo or he's gotten like fake ab shit done you know <laughs> that's what i'm saying like megan was throwing shots so it's one of those things where it's like it's not like megan is completely innocent but obviously right. i don't know if she expected all of this to happen because this is messy as hell Basically, Nikki is full play saying you lied on your dead mama. Something's not true. And she's acting like she has evidence. What is she lying about? And she could, though. Yeah, because, they, you know, Nikki Minaj is a powerful person in the industry. And if Drake's also saying, well, I think you lied about it. Like, what if they're trying to basically say we know something and they're setting her up? All I got to ask uh, is where were you at Tory Lanez's trial? Were you <laughs> in the know. stands? Were you there to back him up? Why are you bringing this up now? I have questions. That deadly, I think that's a fair question. Why wasn't she riding with Tory Lanez back then? I don't know, but maybe she didn't find out information till later on, right? Like she could have found out information. Yeah, yeah. Like, no, like Ray said, dropping Circus Loco, that maybe him and Nikki were talking. They're close. We don't know. Maybe it's one of those situations where she's using that to to push something else. Like she could be saying she's lying about some other things, but she's playing on that because she knows people are still talking about that to this day. So people were still like free Tory. She lied again. He got found guilty with certain evidence. Either way, you know, he's not supposed to be around weapons. So he might have went to jail anyway, even if it wasn't specifically for that. So I think with that, as a rap fan, I'm excited for beef to a certain degree. Right. But man, Megan, he's been through a lot. And I think that it's hard for me to really push for Nicki Minaj to keep pushing certain buttons when Megan has seemed to try to move on from that, even with her other single, it's like she tried to move on and then people are bringing her back to it. She can't move on from it, it seems like. And that's unfortunate. So maybe she has to really stand up for herself so people will be scared to do this again. Because there's too many people that keep coming at her about this, bro. It's like every time she tries to move on from it, someone else is coming out the way we're saying, you lied or you're a snitch or I got beef with you for some other reason. Maybe even not about that. And it's like, what did Megan yeah. do to make these niggas that mad? Like, what is, <laughs> like, what is, like, I don't know. Like, I don't, like Megan talks stuff in her raps and stuff, but it's like, people be coming at her foul. I was just about to say, it's like, you can't make diss tracks, bro. Or you can't make tracks and like diss people in it, right? Like, you know, you're trying to get people to side eye, but you don't want people to give you the side eye back like bro, you cannot make diss tracks and expect people not to diss you back i think that like some people maybe say some out-of-pocket things could be kind of dark it could be kind of like low but i mean it is the rap game i don't feel like rap beef hides anything there's no, no one holds nothing back in rap beef look back in the day bro all the different beefs that we listened to and, and been a part of right witness folks talk about people's mama folks talk about people's dead homies folks talk about anything bro bringing your whole child into the limelight child, we didn't even know drake had a child that man scared him into bringing his child into the limelight. There's nothing that's off limits yeah megan should know that leave this lady alone man leave her alone about what though Leave, like, I don't know. About like, the foot. Unless you have evidence that something happened that we don't know about, leave that topic alone, especially because I don't really know where the win is from that. Like, Nikki's continued to talk, right? And she's saying, like, she wanted a Rihanna situation, kind of saying, like, she wants sympathy, like Rihanna got with the Chris Brown situation. Did it's Nikki like, not say could... that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look it up. You said that about Megan? Yeah, like she's trying bro, to pull Rihanna. Wild. I didn't that's even, what I'm saying. I so she's, that, she's comparing. Like, that is, that's low, bro. That's she's low. talking about other domestic violence or like just extreme cases and making comparisons and stuff. And it's like, how low can you go? If you're going to go there, go there, I guess. I guess Nikki's just saying it's war. I could talk about whatever I want to talk about. 
and my fans are gonna stick up for me. But man, Nikki's been saying some stuff. It's like she's acting like she got something, and she's like waiting for yeah. Nick, like Megan to just say one thing. I think it's bait or something. There's no way like this is it. I agree with you, Ray, in the sense of like there's only a point of talking about it if you really have something to say, right? Like don't just be like making things up. I personally don't know if this is made up or if it's true. Uh, no one knows besides the people that do know, right? But I think the point that you're trying to make is, Nikki, there's not really a point, or anybody, there's not really a point of talking about this topic unless there's some substance behind this, right? Like, I can go out there and say, Megan didn't really get shot in the foot. But, like, do I have any evidence to back it up? No. So why am I talking about it, right? Unless I'm just trying to chat, like, with the homies or whatever. So it's, like, the same thing with Nikki. She has too big of a platform because that's, like, spreading false information. Like, yes. you're lying. You know what I'm saying? So Nicki like, Minaj? Spread false information. Damn, bro. She has some sort of responsibility in terms of like guarding what she says because she knows people are out there listening. Though she's not in control of what those people do, her barbs, like her, her deep fans, like her true fans do. It's like, to some degree, you got to understand that you got some wild fans. And them wild fans going to do anything and they're going to ride for you regardless of whatever you're saying is right or wrong. So let's just be careful with that. She obviously knows how her fans respond. Like, they've been fans for 10 plus years now. Let's not act like she's new to this, you know. And she's one of the most prominent rappers of all time. And she has yeah. a gigantic fan base. And they actually have, like, a name for themselves. There's only, like, a select few around a fan base that have names for themselves like she knows i think it's a little egregious the tirade she goes on plus the not checking the fans but she checked the fans though that was a long time ago that was like previous statements that we're talking about i'm not talking about like this time because like this time like what has she done um because there's been a lot of doxing like i said and harassing you know what man Make sure you got your VPN on, fam, when you logging into the internet, bro. Ain't nobody gonna find you. Nikki, I feel like she should have just went all out. And that's why I'm like, this is kind of weak, because it's like, bro, like, if you were gonna do this, and if you really got something, let's say Nikki's capping, if she really doesn't have anything extra to say, she's just bluffing, hoping that Megan doesn't respond, or hoping that people forget. I think this was bad to where people won't forget, it's not gonna kill her career, but it's a stain. If she doesn't, come back harder if Megan doesn't respond and give her a chance to retaliate again. Just think about this. If Nikki keeps dropping tracks and they're not good, it might keep adding more stains or more blemishes on her record. I think her beefing with Cardi and Cardi still doing what she does was kind of staying on her thing because Nikki was acting like people weren't messing with Cardi B and Cardi B. Like she's a staple now in the game, even though she doesn't drop a lot. You know, when she does drop, people talk yeah. about it. And she was acting like she was going to kill Cardi B's career. That didn't happen. So now you have Megan and you're going at her full force. This could damage it. I don't think it would ever kill her career. I think she's at the point where she could just do whatever and get away with it kind of, unfortunately. But if she's really going to do this, she needs to lock in at this point because it's not looking good. If she has evidence to back up what she said in this first track, I think she went hard enough. As a warning shot? like kinda? Yes, like just saying like, yo, this is just like, I'm just throwing this lob out there for me to dunk it after, right? Like this is just like, an alley oop off the glass to herself. If if she has the evidence to back this up, now if she doesn't, then it's gonna be like, bro, this was a shot in the dark, hoping that somebody grabs onto whatever you're throwing out there, right? Like if she actually has something, then she comes back with another track and she says, "Yo, I have all this information." Blah blah. blah. She spits out yeah. the track. Mm -hmm. Then what she did was perfect. She set herself up for a nice dunk at the end. She is playing into it with the whole Roman. You know, she used to have that alter ego called Roman and she used to use Roman a lot more so maybe this is her way of bringing Roman back out because even on the tweets she's been quoting it like Roman's talking you know that's why she's maybe so whack because that's what she used to do as Roman you know she used to start acting crazy you know what I'm saying yeah if she did set it up I, I think Drake did that with uh you remember back to back right with yeah. um Meek he dropped Meek charged Bell. up yep. first and charged up was kind of mid it was like what is this this is how you're gonna talk about me but that was basically him sending a warning like i'm about to really drop and then he dropped back to back and killed it right so maybe this is her trying to do that drop a charged up and then It'll drop be. back to back i'll tell you right now these two songs his is gonna outlast bigfoot by by miles by country miles it's not the same though this is nikki going full fledged at it while megan is kind of like this was made with the intent to send a subliminal but also just keep going with her music because she's about to drop an album i think right yeah. She's independent now. She's trying to fully focus on her career. So Nikki is beefing technically, if you think about it, with independent artists that just 
trying to maneuver in her career right now, but she has a lot of clout in her name because she's made hits before. Nikki's been going at that too. Like, you're not really an independent artist. Like, I think maybe she should take AC's advice and, and drop something because she could capitalize, but it also could be a big miss if she does. And she has an album that she has to promote right after. Yeah, she misses, if, she, if, she uh, disses, if she disses Nikki and it either the this is not good or let's say that this is good, but then Nikki comes back, boom. I don't know how that would work for Megan. I'm saying if anyone falls from this situation, it's not going to be Nikki. It's not. not. No, it would be it would be Meg. It would be be Megan. It's just like Nikki's on the Mount Rushmore of hip hop when it comes to like you know just the influence she has, the track she has. Megan's not even remotely close to what Nikki has done, right? So that's what I'm saying. It's just like Nikki. I, I just feel like Nikki could come with some mid and get by whereas megan comes with some mid she's not getting by that's all all i'm saying is i just don't think that they're on the same playing field if megan was to diss back she really has to come correct but this will be a great opportunity for her to really shine if she hits hard maybe nikki's just trying to scare her trying to bully her maybe that's why she's just letting this happen like don't talk about me no more i don't need to fully go hard on you yet but if you keep talking i will because you have more to lose than me. You know, Megan, she should just leave it alone. Yeah, look at, looking at it, bro, it, it's not Unless really she hard. comes hard, though. She got to come real correct, though. If she comes real correct, she can really do something and, like, set she her could, career yeah. In different space, bro. Like, a different It level. would put her up but there. If she got into a dissing battle with Nikki and one came out on top as far as bars and track-wise, that would be a big deal. I already respect some of Megan's game and hustle as far as, like, she's come up. She had the Tina Snow personality. She was dropping tapes and... It caught on, and then she did the whole hot girl summer stuff, and that really took over. During the pandemic, bro, she was everywhere. She was. Um, so she was tearing it up. She had her moment. She's still in her moment, technically. And I think that if she does capitalize, it would put her, as far as these new age woman rappers, she'd be up there. I'm not a big Megan Thee Stallion fan, but she has the potential sometimes to be one of the better rappers in the game. Who else is competing with her as far as like music? I don't think Sexy Red's better than her. Absolutely um, not. I don't think Lotto. L- ah, Lotto. She ain't the, bad. She she's not bad, but I don't hey, Lotto, the same bro, Lotto. get the fuck out of here, nigga. What is Lil Sims, bro? Yeah, Lil Sims is good. Well, okay, yeah, but that's but, you know we're yeah, we're talking about. I'm talking, talking about more about, mainstream. Oh, we talking about industry. Oh, oh we're not talking like, about Coyle oh, Ray. Yeah, yeah, like Coyle Ray. Yeah, yeah. No, of okay, course, right. you know, there's city. obviously we could, we could, way yeah. better rappers than Megan Thee Stallion, but it's just like in terms of like industry. Impact, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Everyone knowing them, you know, and I think that closest competition is probably Lotto. No, bro. The Cardi Ooh, B. Ice Spice? Oh, I, Ice is Ice is big, bro. Megan's, I'm Megan's like, damn near on about, Cardi B. I'm talking about like, this point, bro. okay, yeah, Cardi B. But again, Cardi B's so big. She's damn near like a pop star rapper. They B's, both on WAP, bro. Cardi B is different. I don't think Cardi B's a better rapper than Megan, though. I know, but okay, so... We're, Bigger, we're, though. We're, info, saying yeah. Bodak, we're saying Bodak Yellow is not the equivalent to Hot Girl Summer. Plus, no. they both did WAP together, you know? like Nah, you know, the Bodak Yellow is watch. different, bro. Bodak Yellow was... <sighs> Yeah, I, I, guess so. I don't think Cardi B's doing Netflix shows. Cardi B's like, she don't even have to drop music no more. You notice that she just shows up on commercials, shows up on these things and drops a random Instagram song. Instagram live, whatever. That's why I say she's in a different lane right now because she's not, I don't think Meg is on her level as far as like sales and people paying attention to her when she does drop. Cardi B seems like she's more cooperative. She's willing to work with everybody. Nicki Minaj is cooperative. If you, if you respect her, if you, yeah, if you're in her circle and you obviously respect her and are willing to work with her when she wants to work with you and not disrespect her in any way. Cause if you disrespect her in any way, as far as working with someone she doesn't like, or maybe making a track that she doesn't, you know, she thinks is maybe saying stuff that she could take personally for some reason, she's going to go at you and make you look like a peasant to her. She's going to basically call you a peasant and say you're nothing because Nicki Minaj is Nicki Minaj. When you're stooping down to those levels all the time and responding to people who are beneath you, are you really above them like you think? Because you're really, you're getting involved with that. And that's why I think this can get money because I respect Nicki Minaj and she's harming her image right now, I think. That's a super good point. If you are so high up, right, you see yourself as, you know, being class A and you're over here arguing with class C, like are you really class A, right? Like you're bringing yourself down two notches, right? To argue with somebody that's not even on your playing field. Doesn't even make sense. It makes you look lesser of a, of a person. Your, your stature isn't as great. I just don't see how 
Nikki loses at this point. The public perception is not going good. It is all towards Meg. She's getting all the positive shine. Nikki is, people are calling it a spiral. Barb's are denouncing her. There's a path for her to lose, bro. Like, and we said term. it, like, yeah, like long term, she'll be fine, right? We'll all move on. Or maybe she spirals, bro. We don't know if Megan's going to drop or not again, but. I just think it's really funny that every time an artist comes up, happens to be a woman, and uh, she gets really popular, she has to basically go through Nicki Minaj before she's solidified up there, right? You know, she's like... Nicki she's Minaj like, is the final boss every time. She's beefing with she's you. Watch, she's watching the line, bro. Yeah. She's got the velvet rope. She's letting people in, bro. She's like, okay, you cool. I'm trying to think, like, she beef with dang near... She's with Mariah? With JT from a period... Um, from City Girls, he said Mariah Carey. Yeah, but Miley Cyrus. Said, yeah, Miley was yeah. good. Um, oh, yeah, was good. Was good. Yeah, rapper wise, she was beefing with Iggy Azalea. I think oh, a little God. bit. Cardi's the big one, of course. She's so she funny. hasn't beefed Lil, a lot of. Like she's said. beefing with yeah, Little Kim, Lotto. She's she's those subs at Lotto and Lotto. I think has thrown some subs at her. If you think about it, yeah. Now Megan, so she hasn't beefed with Ice Spice yet. But when she blamed her album mm-hmm. sales being slow because uh, Stormy, I remember that. Travis Scott and Kylie Jenner's kid was born. When, when she dropped Queen? Queen, like I said, before she retired, she was beefing with Cardi B. She dropped Queen. Some people liked that album. Some people didn't. Mixed reception, especially for Nicki. I wouldn't say she lost the beef with Cardi B fully. I think she lost in destroying Cardi B's career. She retired. She came back now. And now she's beefing with another person. I thought maybe she would move on. It seemed like she was trying to be cool for and nice for a little bit. She's starting a family and everything. It was Queen. It was uh, Astro World. She accused Astro World of getting the number one spot because uh, they were basically using the merchandise and promoting uh, the tour days with Kylie and uh, Stormy, like having like a social media bundle or something. Yeah, I do mm-hmm. remember that now. She's beefing with a six month old brother. She, she I find that she very feels. admirable. <laughs> She gonna say how she feel, bro. No matter who you are, no matter who you are, what age? It's and real New York, that, right there, bro. You know, I think it is a problem with her fans because you know her fans pretty much defend her no matter what. So she could say the most craziest thing. It's kind of like Yay sometimes, but Yay will say something. And as a fan of his, sometimes I have to disagree, but I see other people sometimes agree with him, even though he says some of the most wildest things, right? And it's like it's enabling. I don't know uh, Nikki uh, Minaj's mental space i don't know if she's in a good mental space right now i don't know if she's in a bad one i ain't gonna go and say she's crazy i know some people are going and saying she's on drugs I, you know that's allegedly if people think she's on drugs i can't make those assumptions and tell everyone that she's on drugs and she's tripping it just seems she's really mad she's been ranting and just bro yelling that rant at the end days. of that song was crazy bro For she days. was like whispering in her ear type shit, bro. I was like, this is way too far, bro. She's been, she's been going off about this on social media for days. She's been joining spaces. That's where she said the Rihanna thing. That's what I'm saying. She's been letting her mind just talk. Y'all think this is going to end anytime soon? You think it's just going to fade or this is going to be a whole thing for a minute? I think it's going to fade unless Meg mm. comes back with something that I think is going to carry over for a little bit. I think Meg needs to really think about this and calculate her risk of responding. She has to look and see, does she have the bag to respond to Nicki Minaj? I think it's going to come down to uh, whether or not people are willing to hold Nicki Minaj accountable for the things that Megan talked about in her song. Are people going to just keep looking past the shady things that she takes stances on? Is she just going to be able to allow to talk unchecked about other people like this? Whether it's in a rap sphere or just a personal sphere, I feel like some of the things that she said is just a little crazy, a little unhinged. So I think that her fan base, like we were talking about, should be able to hold her accountable or the people around her should be able to hold her accountable and not have to fear getting their personal information leaked. I think that's absolutely ridiculous. That's probably one of the main things preventing her from having sanity. So y'all, please, you're our only hope. I think that's what it comes down to, whether or not it'll stay relevant. From the outside looking in, if you used to be in Young Money and used to be around Lil Wayne, don't do diss tracks no more. Bigfoot, I did not mess with it at all. That was disappointing, man. After all this hype, after all this talk, man, she better follow up. If she's really doing all this, it better not just be this and then she drops it. Unless she really was just bluffing and just trying to check Megan, which I would respect more if eventually it comes out that that's what this was. Because that was mid. I don't know. I fuck with AC's. <laughs> <laughs> big the bars on it were not that good bro you're six foot you're big foot. This thing, megan the stallion she's a stallion she's a big she claims woman. it bro yeah. she uh she, she knew her shit was hot bro and then you want to come in on the diss track and say that she slept with him 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 bro yeah she said that she's empowered by it 
Who cares, bro? You know, we can talk about who you sleep with, and then it gets messy. Exactly. So, like, what, what are we doing, bro? Oh, my gosh. <sighs> Especially because you took it so personally. You went out your way to drop a whole diss track after she said a few bars, and you really focus on that because that's what she came out on Twitter and said. You talked about my family. You talked about my man. I have to do what I have to do. Nicki Minaj is acting like push a T. Push T was like, well, she, he came from my wife, so I had to say something. Mm. But you don't got that. Say, unless she does. Yeah, it could be a surgical summer on Nikki's side, bro. You got to pull it out, man. I need to see the data. I need to see the facts. I need to see the evidence. Not this bluff, man. It's not looking good, man. So you can't beef with all these rappers and be like not really doing damage to them. You're doing damn more damage to yourself. She's sipping water shots, bro. I'm Everybody. telling you. Everybody. Like, hey. Nah, that's super bad. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. That's not Nikki, you know. I can go far. You know, that, that old school Nikki. I think she's just descending into madness at this point. I think it's funny. I think when you're in the public sphere for that long, you just do things like that. Yeah, it doesn't look good for her. Ain't no morals. I think Nikki, she's been, had a rap game in the chokehold for dumb long as a woman in the rap game. I feel like she thinks that she can come out with absolutely anything and she'll be fine. Because she's Nicki Minaj. And maybe this was warning shots. If it was warning shots, this was great warning shots. She didn't come that hard. She didn't A come great like, warning shot? Come on, bro. bro You're putting you, on okay. hella thick. Put it on hella thick. Like, bro, it was, you get, you, to look, say it was you know, great, like, like it was, you could be like, oh, it's bro, cool. There's the, you no, don't, okay. Man, we did literally just said she has no backing for this yet. And you're saying it's great. Like, you know the setup is about to happen. You don't know if it's a warning. I, I, <laughs> I got the be... notes, bro. I got the All right. notes. All right, nah, bro, nah, bad. Nah, nah, we going to see. Play. If Megan comes back, you better be ready to stand up on what you say. <laughs> I'm standing on business, bro. Better hey. stand on business, brother. You're going to be sitting I there think... quiet. Just... <laughs> just like this. I was wrong. Yeah. <laughs> nah, I think it was definitely strategic. I think Nikki, she's been in this rap game so long. This should be a strategic move in the sense of like, yo, throwing a little warning shot to then come out and dish you crazy. This was already recorded, apparently, when his dropped. She was already previewing it. So she better have something set up because if she had this song set up before his came out, she must knew this was coming. Or she decided to make a diss track and this happened, but it seemed like she was already prepared. Bro, I'm standing on this. I think she, I, I think there's something that's gonna come from it. I think Nikki set herself up. I'm not saying she did this purposely, but I think she did set herself up for having the upper hand. Look, she could easily go, I didn't come that hard because I didn't want to do that to her and she's not gonna do nothing back. So I don't have to say anything to come harder the next time, right? Or she mm -hmm. could say, I didn't come that hard just because I was waiting for her to come with something so I can come harder the next time. Like, she can go either way. She can she send herself up around two. And she instigated. I'm, I'm, I'm standing on business. On You're her. a master instigator, AC. You're like, I'm I don't standing care. standing on business. I'm hoping Megan is straight. Because at the end of the day, Meg is a you know strong black woman, and I'm I'm always gonna root for a strong black woman. Look at look at that. <laughs> he reads bulletin points, bro. He's like, okay, hey. what do I say now? <laughs> Meg is strong black woman. I'm gonna root for her. For real, every time. But I'm a root for Nikki too, because she's a strong black woman too. When it comes to this rap beef, anything goes. Megan gotta know that. And so Megan, I do hope that she's mentally stable. I mean, it's just like, bro, you, you gotta know what comes with this rap game. You an instigator, yeah. bro. I love it. You should be like a news anchor, bro. He's for like, real. He was crafting that narrative flawlessly. I ain't gonna lie, I'm I'm half with AC. I half want more smoke, but at the same time, I do empathize a little bit. I do think that uh, if you got beef with her, maybe just drop it. You know, don't drop nothing else. Leave it on that note. And if in your mind you won with this track, you won. But you don't need to keep ranting and keep going on unless you're going to actually follow up. If you do it, I'd like to see it. Past just rap. Like, I think at this point, like, it's personal. He's calling her fragment foot. Nah, bro. Crazy. Get up on your yeah. good foot. Mid. It doesn't matter. But wait, wait. Who's number one? Who's number two, bro? Oh, yeah, right now. That's the same. What you mean? His, these his two number tracks? one. Yeah, his is number one and Bigfoot's number two. Uh, if you go check. Who's number one overall? The Megan one, bro. No, no, oh. no. I mean, number one, overall, career-wise. Oh, career-wise, bro? Nicki Minaj still bringing up the MonsterVerse okay. in, in 2024, bro. Like, I mean, what, what do you want me to do, bro? <laughs> <laughs> No, not Nikki had other crazy hits though. Like I'm mean, Nikki had hits galore back in the I got that boom 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 boom. boom, boom Bro, she had hits galore. That's super bass. Just to clarify, I don't want no one coming after this. We ain't trying to disrespect Nikki Minaj. We ain't disrespecting Megan. 
We say, yeah, we say in our opinion, at the end of the day, Nicki Minaj is a legend. When she does put stuff together well, I think she's one of the best rappers in the game, period. Fuck a gender. Fuck all that. She knows how to put words together in a way that's really good. And she has a unique personality to go with it. It's just now that personality is bordering on a bully. And I think that Nicki Minaj is too great to be a bully. If you're going to do this, you, you need to do more than just bully. You need to fully commit. You don't need to be a bully in this situation. You need to be someone. And just like you kind of tried to do with Hot Girl Summer, you should be putting these people on. Uh -huh. Unless you really have a genuine issue with them and need to take it to this point. I feel like Nicki Minaj should be giving game to people like this instead of doing this. I mean, she is. I mean, like we said, Princess Diana remix. I mean, she, yeah, but the, she does that. That's what I'm saying. She does that with every rapper and then she turns her back. She needs, I feel like she should commit and either try to find someone to pass the torch on to rather than beefing with all the people to pass the torch on to. She could really help a lot of these rappers out. Like Megan yeah. could probably benefit Nikki and her were cool when, when Nikki was doing songs with her and helping her out rather than beefing with her. It would be like Lil Wayne beefing with like a lot of these rappers that look up to him. It's like at a certain point you're getting at the age where you want these people to carry on your legacy and, and say like you put me on and help me. You know, that's why Polo G's is still doing songs with Lil Wayne. That's why these drill rappers are trying to do songs with Lil Wayne still. While Nicki, she's kind of like running out of the rappers because eventually these newer rappers are going to look up to these other rappers instead of her. If you burn all these bridges, bro, and make it to where none of these younger woman rappers are going to want to mess with you, it's going to hurt your legacy in the long run. It's doing it a little bit, but right now it's not really affecting her because she's still finding ways to, you know, make hits because she's talented, but. Once the hits run out, bro, who's going to be like, I mess with Nicki Minaj. She really impacted me. She's beefing with everyone. Bro, Nicki's oh. uh, latest album wasn't bad. I mean, then you have FTCU. She has some hits on that album, bro. Fuck the club. Oh that was a cool song. Hot Girl Summer started in 2019, bro. So I don't know. Bro, Megan I mean... fell off, bro. What, what else does Megan have? She fell off. She fell off? Bro, Megan is gone, bro. What else Megan got? This is the whole reason why we're talking about this. And it's only relevant because Nikki had to come in and save it and make it relevant. Why did Nikki have to come in and, and I mean, Nikki's going to get a bag, too. She's going to get a bag. <laughs> but why does she have to come in and address it? What specifically did happen that made her address it? Maybe she just like, you know what? I'm sick and tired of this Megan girl. Try to act like she knows what she's doing, bro. She was sick and tired of this Megan girl when she brought up the Megan's law. And she was like, they ain't. Hating Megan, they hating on Megan's law. Yeah, Nikki could be a better rapper. Nikki could be plenty of things, but nah, 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 she nah, wrong, nah. bro. You she said Megan was a better rapper, bro. We not, we gonna not go glad. <laughs> no, 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 no. That was said off record, bro. We not bringing nah, that up. Here we go. That here was we go. Off record. That's not professional. That's not professional. <laughs> you got Nikki. You got Megan. A versus who winning? Nikki Minaj, bro. Of Thank course, you, bro. Thank you. Come on, bro. That's not even a question. But what, yeah, what that's what, that's that that's crazy. crazy. So, Tyga, when you dropping the diss track? Because we really trying to get this young Wendy diss track compilation going, bro. We trying to <laughs> we trying to collect the Infinity Stones for real, bro. Get Birdman uh, for the one time, Playboy. <laughs> <laughs> uh but anyways i feel like we pretty much locked that topic down so thank y'all so much for tuning in on this episode hip-hop babies uh you know we had to talk about this crazy much love ac showing up uh to give us his perspective always appreciate our brother coming on here you know how to chop it up that's that's what we do best ac if you, you got anything you want to say real quick to the people bro i just want to say i love these two they always give their all. They do the best when it comes to this podcast stuff. So always tune in. Check the Hip Hop Babies out. They rocking. They rolling. They growing. So I love to see it. I appreciate them having me on here. Talk about this cool topic. You know what? We'll see. We'll probably be back here again if Megan decides to, you know, say something or Nikki comes back with something else. So hopefully I can uh, chop it up with them again when that happens. So stay tuned. But always love with the Hip Hop Babies. Thanks, man. We appreciate you. You already know that. And uh, anybody watching... We appreciate you. You know that as well. And uh, let us know what you think. Do you think Megan should respond? Do you think Nikki won this? Do you think Megan won? Do you think is this going to get even worse? Do you think it's hit its peak? Don't be afraid to comment. We'll have a conversation with you, of course. And uh, maybe chop it up because maybe there's something you know that we didn't. Maybe there's something that you want to tell us. Um, New developments, bro. Mm-hmm. So, Every um, minute, I feel like some shit's happening here. So For real. That's why we took our time because we were thinking... She was going to drop 
earlier that day and then we were like well let's hit up ac because she's actually pushing the track back and we want to get his opinion as well because you know that's what this is we just sharing our thoughts man don't get mad like i said i don't want nobody beefing with me <laughs> or any of these guys with that being said peace, peace.